in the aftermath of what is still 10 years later, one of the most destructive wildfires in Colorado's history. Waldo Canyon fire victims needed hope, resources and a plan to try to recover. The devastation inspired people in the Pikes Peak region across the country and the globe to participate in a fundraising effort to help restore a community from the ashes. And it was like some supernatural force had unleashed the most incredible flamethrower you can imagine down on Mountain Shadows. Our firefighters didn't have a chance. Uh, our city limits were right at the top of Mountain Shadows. The end result, hundreds of homes destroyed and lives forever changed. Former Colorado Springs Mayor Steve Bach says city leaders had some big decisions to make, but had more questions than answers. I asked uh, our emergency management staff, what's our plan for helping people recover from this? Well, we have a plan for rebuilding public infrastructure, streets, curb and gutter, utilities, and so forth, but we really don't have anything with respect to rebuilding lives. As people sorted through the rubble and what was left of their homes, Mayor Bach met with Bob Cutter, a personal friend and business leader who helped spearhead a private sector response to help victims. And honestly, I think the best thing we did was get out of the way in the sense that we empowered people in the private sector and volunteers to marshal forward and we supported every way we could. Then the public got behind the restoration effort too. El Pomar gave United Way seed money to start a fund and there was a fund that raised nearly a million dollars for the nonprofits who were serving all of the people who had been affected by the fire. And that is a tremendous amount of money in a short period of time. But again, points to the generosity and heart that this community has. The Waldo Canyon Fire Assistance Fund raised $940,000 in three months, with donations coming in from 48 states and two countries. 18 organizations ended up receiving the funding, helping to provide housing assistance, case management, health and mental health services, food and clothing to people impacted by the fire. I spent a half an hour speaking with Mayor Bach and Cindy Aubrey about their experiences and memories of the Waldo Canyon fire and its impact on the Pikes Peak region. You can watch that full interview on our website, koaa.com. I'm Patrick Nelson for News 5.